There's been so many changes over the past 15 years. We started out with just two classes a week um, and we've now expanded. We've got 10 classes each week, I think. We've also got an elite team that get to do competitions across the country in street dance and cheer dance. Um, and we get, obviously, the opportunity to perform on the pitch. And also, as we've progressed over the years, we also get invited to perform at other things like fairs, galas, corporate events and things like that as well. Hannah saw Nick's team dancing on the pitch and whilst we were at rugby with her brother and she wanted to dance. So we got in touch to see how she could come and do the dancing. Um, used to bring her week in, week out and used to say hi to Nick and all the other teachers. It was, it was good fun. And then one day I got asked, could I help and do the register? So I did. And we started off with pen, paper, highlighters. Um, and we've just moved on from then. We're now 14 years in and I've still not gone. I'm still here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. A lot of my girls are really loyal and have been coming for ages, but there's a couple that stand out. Obviously, I need to mention Hannah. She's been coming since she was seven, I think. She's now 22, and she's now one of my teachers. There's a lot, there's a lot of performances that we've done. We've performed, obviously, on the Rhinos pitch. We've done Yorkshire Child of Courage Award. We've done lots of competitions. Uh, we were part of Magic Weekend too. But I'd probably have to say when Nick gave me the opportunity to start teaching because I really do enjoy teaching them and see the children progress. Yeah, so I've got three children who've had some involvement with their rhinestones and it's been over a six year period. They've had a huge amount of enjoyment of being part of the rhinestones and um, mixing with other children um, that they might not necessarily have got the opportunity to mix with. I've seen some changes in, in the children during that period and some transferable um, sort of life skills that, that they've taken away from their experience of being a part of, of the rhinestone, such as working within the team, resilience when it's come to sort of the competing side of things. And when, when I spoke to one of my daughters about this and I said, well, what's the highlight of, of, of coming to dance? And she said, oh, seeing my friends. So just having that friendship and um, com camaraderie is, is hugely important and it's something that they can take forward um, into, into the remainder of their lives. Yeah, so my daughter um, started at the Rhinestones when she was about seven years old and she's now 13, so she's been here for quite a few years now. She's got so much confidence, um, obviously in terms of like dancing, um, her skills have improved so much. She's, she's, she enjoys doing the competitions, she doesn't have fear of being in front of large groups of people and she has made so many friends, um, friends for life I would say, yeah. Gosh, there are so many highlights. Um, the annual shows are always a big highlight, I love doing those. We've not done one for ages, but I plan to bring it back. Um, another highlight was when the Rhinestones took part in a shirt launch and it was a flash mob um, in the Trinity and JJB danced with us, which was fab. And then another highlight was an on-pitch performance here at Headley Stadium and it was to celebrate some of the players that were retiring. That was really cool as well. And I think just some of the highlights for us as parents being involved in, in, in part of this journey is some of, some of the unbelievable and prestigious venues that they've, they've had the opportunity to, to dance at. So dancing at the Royal Armouries with the Child of Courage Awards, dancing at um, Blackpool Tower, and then <laughs> the Holy Grail dancing at Headingley Stadium. And that, that's just wonderful for us to experience as, as, as parents, but I can't imagine how much that, that means to them as well. Change, we've seen kids come, kids go, kids come back. Um, I think it's grown because of the family element that surrounds the rhinestones. It's it's not your usual dance academy. Uh, for me, it's a family. Uh, the rhinestone success is down to my amazing team. Um, I've got all my amazing teachers, student teachers. I've got a wonderful help called Helen, whose daughter Hannah is one of my teachers and she's been helping for years and it's about the people really that are here.
I just want to thank everyone really because this has been my dream to set this dance school up to um, give children the opportunity to experience dancing and dancing on the pitch and performing and competing and stuff and I just want to say thank you to everybody who's brought their children to me and who's still with me. It's been a really great ride.